Well, here we are back at the scrapyard again, and uh, I'll get a lot of questions from you guys about minivans. And honestly, I've never ran a minivan, but I've seen a lot of minivans run, and I get a lot of questions asking about Uplanders and Montanas and stuff like that. This right here is a 2000, and uh, by the wheels I'm going to say 2006, 2007 uh, Pontiac Montana van. And this one right here, I've already checked the rear bumper. I'm going to say this is around a 05, 04 caravan. Now, there is some pluses to this and a lot of minuses. And honestly, everybody knows how caravans do. So, let's start with the Montana. First off, in the Montana, it's set up like a W body. You got the, the motor mounts way up high. You have upper rod support that's quite thick. You have a lot of good things going for this thing in the front. Excuse me. But, here's the issue. These three nines, head gaskets go in them a lot. I know that for a fact. Another issue is, is the motor starts moving around. In the W body, these are steel. They all start changing to aluminum. Uh, electrical all goes around the front, but that's easy to move. You guys take the time, you can move it. Changing struts in these is horrible. They're way underneath the wiper cowl. But let's get to the biggest, biggest downfall on these, the spindles. The spindles on these are aluminum, and honestly, I would not even build a vehicle with aluminum spindles. I have steel spindles at home I can swap into this. All I gotta do is work with the bearings. So I really wouldn't put a lot of effort in these unless you're willing to change those front spindles. Uh, next downside, 06 or 05, I forget the year it changes, I think it's 06, they go to 6 bolt and it's pretty hard to find rims for these. If you change to an older spindle, you can probably get away with doing it that way, but 6 bolt rims, that is this bolt pattern, is pretty hard to come by. I think it's the same as Dakota, but we're not 100% sure off the top of my head. Other than that, front frame's pretty good. Um, back bumper on this is junk. I ran one in the past. It's 100% junk. But, oh look at that one. Corey and Trevor have been here. Um, that's a Trailer Park Boys reference. The rear trailing arms, as you take a look, you have a trailing arm and you have springs. And you have a pan hard bar to keep it centered. Now, this is a good setup, it's not a whole lot of moving parts, but the caravan has a better setup than this. The other thing that I found with this is you blow out this rear door and the whole van kind of twists really weird and it gets pretty scary when it folds pretty much in half. The other issue is inside these rear wheel wells, they rot out quite bad, very bad to be honest. So if you're going to run one of these, make sure you attach this door very well because it kind of blows out, there's no real good hinges on it. It blows out and then the van kind of bends in the middle. And check for rot. These things here rot really bad over top of the rear wheels. Rocker panels and all that need to be good. Or else the van, like I said, is just going to basically fold in half. I would run one of these if it was very low rot and I did a steel spindle swap. And probably just took the rear bumper off and threw it in the trash. I probably would run one of these. <clears throat> now let's go to the caravan. Well, we'll start in the front. Caravan actually has a half decent bumper in the front, but the rad support is not nearly as thick as the Uplanders. The other issue with these is these aluminum motor mounts down here. They seem to snap, but a lot of people build their own front motor mounts. Nobody really uses the front of a caravan anyway. Um, they got an aluminum mount there, but honestly, I've never seen those break either that much. Struts are a little bit easier to change inside this, but still not the easiest. Easier than the Uplander, I can give you that. Now, let's take a look at the front end. These are steel spindles. Now, they're pretty tough. I've pounded and pounded and pounded on these in the past because I've taken mini cars into van heats, and they're pretty tough spindles. Even the tie rods are pretty beefy. The downside, though, Unlike the Uplander, the frame comes and then bends up around the transmission and then down, so it's not a straight frame. So having a frame that's got to bend kind of makes it want to give a spot for where to bend and weak. If you're able to put a plate, that opens this thing up to a completely different story though. Now, these vans hold together really well. 
these doors do not blow out on them. They actually hold their position very, very well. Even the floor, the floor I think is stronger in these than the Montanas. I would not take a Montana full track against one of these because I know that this would win. And here's one of the main reasons that I would choose a caravan over a Montana van. In the back of these, up until 2007, I believe is the last year, you have a monoleaf. That's right, this thing has a leaf spring. So these leaf springs, monoleaf we're gonna call it, add a lot of strength to the back of these vans. And it basically means that you will never really drop in the back end. Usually what happens is they go here, right about there, and they actually get taller and taller and taller in the back, which means you start clearing bumpers and smashing everything into radiators and motors. Hatches on these are pretty good, and in the newer years, which is like 05, 06, 07, oh, they start getting better bumpers on the back as well. So if it comes right down to it, I would pick a caravan every day of the week over an Uplander or Montana. So, like I said, I got a lot of questions about minivans. These things are getting really, really cheap these days. Like, I'm picking them up for 200 bucks. I still won't run them. I would pay $400 for one of these and wreck it over a $200 one of those. And the, the reason is because I have a better chance of winning with one of these. I think they're much stronger. I think that they are a better van to smash. And maybe this year here we can have a minivan class that I do go in, but I'm not sure. So thanks for watching, guys. And that's the difference I've seen between these two vans. So take care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.